King Charles faces a potential setback as his travel plans to Australia may need to be downscaled. A royal source has claimed that the king, 75, accompanied by Queen Camilla, 76, is expected to travel to Australia around the time of the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, COGME, in Samoa, scheduled for late October 2024. However, plans for a visit to New Zealand have been put aside as the king continues to recover from his cancer diagnosis. According to the Mirror, this change in plans has disappointed both the king and the queen, but they are aware of the need for the king to pace himself due to his ongoing health concerns. Welcome to Royal Family Update. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. The royal visit has not yet been formally confirmed by Buckingham Palace, but a source within Australia's Labour government suggested that it is very possible. If it proceeds, this would be the royal couple's first visit to Australia since 2018, when Charles and Camilla opened the Commonwealth Games on the Queensland Gold Coast. Royal commentators note that a royal tour could highlight the current sentiment towards republicanism in Australia, with the most recent poll showing 46% of Australians favouring a republic while 54% support the current system of government. So far during King Charles III reign, he has visited Germany, France and Kenya on official royal tours. If the Australia visit happens, it would mark the King and Queen's fourth overseas visit since his ascension to the throne. Despite his cancer diagnosis, the King has slowly begun to return to his royal duties. Recently, the Queen mentioned that King Charles is doing well but tends to overwork and not follow medical advice to slow down. This determination to continue his duties has become a hallmark of his reign, even as he manages his health. In related royal news, Prince William and King Charles were notified about Princess Anne's condition after she was rushed to the hospital following an incident at her Gloucestershire estate. The Princess Royal sustained minor injuries and a concussion. Buckingham Palace confirmed that Anne's engagements for the upcoming week would be postponed, and she sends her apologies for any inconvenience. Sir Tim Lawrence, Anne's husband, accompanied her to the hospital. Although the Princess Royal is recovering well, she will not be able to attend the Japanese state banquet or her planned engagements in Canada this month due to doctors' advice against flying. King Charles still has an open invitation to visit New Zealand, according to the country's Prime Minister, even though there are reports that the king might have to postpone the trip following his cancer diagnosis. While Charles is still expected to travel to Australia and Samoa for the Commonwealth Summit, additional legs of the trip to New Zealand and Fiji have reportedly been cancelled. This decision underscores the necessity for the king to pace himself as he continues his treatment. A source told the Mirror that it would be a significant disappointment for both sides if the king and queen could not visit New Zealand. However, given the king's ongoing health issues, everyone understands the need for him to take things slowly. The royal family and their supporters hope that there will be further opportunities for such visits in the future, emphasizing the importance of the king's well-being over immediate travel plans. In conclusion, the health and well-being of King Charles are taking precedence over some of his travel plans. The royal family and their global supporters are adapting to these changes with understanding and hope for future opportunities. The king's resilience and dedication to his duties, even in the face of health challenges, continue to be a significant aspect of his reign. As always, we will keep you updated on any further developments regarding the British monarchy. Thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe for more royal news and updates.